Hey guys, how are you doing? Good? Well, the patient that just entered our room isn't doing too well. Let me introduce you to him. His name is Muhammad Latif. Hello! He's a 42-year-old construction worker who was diagnosed with diabetes for the past 5 years. Let's see what he has to say. Hello Latif, what brings you here today? <coughs> I... I... <coughs> hey yo, what the f***? Sorry doctor, I... I is very sick. I cough until got green color come out. I see. When did the coughing start? Uh, about a few days ago lah. Hmm. Due to construction worker, it might be exposed to a lot of dust and smoke. Do you smoke cigarettes? Yeah. How much do you smoke? Like 20 a day? Maybe for 20 years? That's a lot of damage! So 20 a day equals to 1 pack year. And 1 pack year multiplied for the past 20 years, that's 20 pack years. I see. Have you tried stopping? No, I love it. Okay, where were you before you started getting sick? I I stay in mama at hospital because she got bypass. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that Latif. How is she now? Oh, okay now lah. That's good to hear. Okay Latif, do you have any other symptoms? Uh, I feel very really hot and I sweat. <sighs> Hard to breathe also. I breathe. My chest pain. Lot of pain. Oh my, you made the right choice coming in today, Latif. Hmm, hospital acquired, bad coughs, green sputum, chest pain, sweats, fever? Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, Latif, I'd like to run some tests on you now. Uh, so, uh <coughs> Are you kidding me? With everything in mind, what's your diagnosis? If you said pneumonia, Congrats, because you are right. Latif is currently suffering from pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection causing alveolar inflammation, leading to pus buildup in the lungs. There are two main types of pneumonia, typical and atypical pneumonia. Typical pneumonia is characterized by a productive <coughs> cough causing a lot of mucus to be produced. Atypical pneumonia is characterized by a dry cough. Typical pneumonia usually has a fast onset whereas atypical pneumonia has a slow onset. Typical pneumonia is caused by common microbes whereas atypical pneumonia is caused by weird, peculiar and uncommon microbes. Typical pneumonia can lead to the buildup of exudate in the alveoli whereas atypical pneumonia will cause no exudate or little exudate in the alveoli. Clinical features of pneumonia include green mucus, yellow mucus or hemoptysis which is blood in the mucus. Young people who suffer from pneumonia usually experience symptoms like sweating, fever, chills, fatigue and coughing as well as stabbing chest pain when breathing. On the other hand, older people usually suffer from symptoms alike to confusion instead of the pulmonary symptoms experienced by young people. As we went through just now, typical and atypical pneumonia are caused by different organisms. Typical pneumonia are caused by common microorganisms like strep pneumonia, Staphylococcus aureus, Haemophilus influenzae, and Klebsiella pneumonia. Atypical pneumonia, on the other hand, is usually caused by peculiar microorganisms like Mycoplasma pneumoniae, Chlamydia pneumoniae, Legionella pneumoniae, Viral pneumonia, and Fungal pneumonia. Tests for pneumonia can include a chest x-ray, blood test, mucus test, and pulse oximetry. First of all, during the physical examination, the doctor will use the stethoscope to listen for certain sounds. Patients with pneumonia usually display sounds like crackling, bubbling, rumbling sounds, and a pleural rub. This is a normal chest x-ray. Now, this is an x-ray of a patient suffering from loba pneumonia. Loba pneumonia can be characterized by downers to percussion in a loba pattern. As you can see from the x-ray, an entire lobe is being consolidated. Loba pneumonia is usually caused by typical pneumonia organisms. Another type of pneumonia would be bronchopneumonia. Bronchopneumonia involves the acute inflammation of the alveoli and bronchi. It is characterized by scattered nodular opacities in the chest x-ray. It is also caused by typical pneumonia organisms. Interstitial pneumonia is caused by fibrous thickening of the lungs due to inflammation. As you can see, it is characterized by peripheral septal thickening in the chest x-ray. It is mostly caused by smoking and dust instead of microorganisms. More accurate tests for pneumonia can include CT scans, bronchoscopy, pleural fluid culture, and arterial blood gas. These tests function to identify the severity of the pneumonia. 
Oh, it seems like Latif's results are back. Let's share the results with him. Latif, your results are back. Uh, Bruh. Latif, you are diagnosed with pneumonia, a lung infection. Uh, smoking good for me. I feel good. Are you sure about that? Latif, smoking is worsening your condition. Smoking and being diabetic increases your risk of developing many life-threatening problems. Risk factors for pneumonia can include smoking, patients who are below 2 or above 65 years of age, pre-existing pulmonary disease, ICU patients, patients suffering from immunosuppression, as well as aspirated pneumonia. Complications of pneumonia would be bacteremia, whereby the bacteria will slowly spread throughout the body, causing sepsis. Patients will also experience difficulty breathing, as well as pleural effusion and abscess of the lungs. So Latif, it is time to make the right choice and get treated immediately. Okay lah, doctor. Uh, what I do now? There are several prescribed treatments for pneumonia. Depending on the causative organism, the doctor can prescribe different medications. If it is a bacterial pneumonia, antibiotics can be prescribed. The bacteria would have to undergo an antibiotic sensitivity test in order to reduce the incidence of antibiotic resistance. If it is a viral pneumonia, antiviral therapy can be conducted. But this is only applicable for common flu viruses and viruses like COVID-19 do not have a cure. No, God! If the patient is suffering from fungal pneumonia, antifungal agents can be provided. On top of the prescribed medication, self-treatment can be conducted at home as well. These involve hydration, NSAIDs or aspirin for fever, rest, and quitting smoking. Prevention for pneumonia would include quitting smoking as well as a vaccine for the specific causative organism. Okay, doctor. I try lah to stop smoking and take meds. That's good. Hmm. All good? I wait. Okay.